the next one. Tetsuro Tara versus Carlos Candelario. And I'm going to start with Taria. Make his UC debut. 10-0 undefeated record. Eight of those ending by finish. Undefeated 9-0 amateur record. Only 22 years old. Um, already has been the Shudo flyweight champion. Has actually even competed at strawweight, which is just crazy. And because he's actually a pretty big guy. His, sub- his submission game is his best tool. His striking's good, but low volume. He kind of takes pictures when he strikes too, you know, doesn't follow it up with much. And he fights very patient and almost slow to start, which you don't want to see either. Candelario, two-time uh, contender series alum going one and one losing his last time out by split decision on a fight he took on two weeks notice, which is, you know, tough for anyone. The one thing that I did take away from that, um, the contender series was that uh, he got taken down a lot in he got taken down eight times and four times during the, those two fights. And another thing was he slowed in the third a little bit, but does have good striking. Taria has the advantage on the ground. Candelario, trouble with the ground game. Uh, so that's Taria's best path to victory, I would say. Uh, so I'm actually going to go with Taria in this one. Yeah, I'm going to take him too. I think that what you just said, it's the clear path to victory. Yeah, it's there. Um, Tyra's got great skill. He's super young. This guy's got, like, it kind of reminds me of, in a way, of, like, Manel Cape coming to the UFC. Mm -hmm. Um, I know that started off kind of shaky, but I think this guy's going to come in and do nice. I, yeah, I, I'm confident in this one. Yeah, he's he's eight years younger than Condelario, and I already I think he's already fought better competition than he has. Exactly. I think Tara already, which is just crazy to see. So we're both agreeing. We're both gonna go with Tario. <laughs>